Alright, welcome back. This is M-Dog, and since we're here at Winding, let's just look at the cafe. Oh, that day sorter is actually interesting because there's a day spot that's fairly active right now. Um, 3558. <laughs> uh, the burning question. I can't tell you how many times I get that question. How do I move from whatever percentage to a hundred percent on on bottom fishing? And I think people ask that question because it can just become so discouraging. It does take a long, long time to be fair. Um, all right, so we're gonna do uh, a bream spot here at uh, Old Berg. Let's check cafes and uh, then we'll head down and get fishing here shortly. Of course, we've got no bream orders. Some roach orders though. It's interesting, trophy and the 7300. Um, let's switch this to, uh, let's switch this to like this. That'll be better. So the one thing I wanna do, really, frankly, other than catch some nice bream, the thing I wanna most do I guess is try to press, well, we're gonna be there so soon. So after, wait, pea porridge, is that separate? Forty. Oh, it's 40. Okay, the problem is I don't remember the recipe for pea porridge. I guess we can always run back though. Okay, so for right now though, we, we do need some more. I mean, we'll at least make 10 more. We may end up needing to make more than that, I don't know. I wonder how much uh, sunflower oil we have currently. All right, let's just go get feeding. Let's just go get fishing for bream. I'd kind of like to get the rods in fairly early. We're going down to 40. 332 now we'll see i mean this spot i don't know if this will be spot will be as good as the last place we fished for bream but whenever i see people advertising bream spots i'm always curious and want to test them out and see uh if they really are good at, like people claim or if people are exaggerating um but we'll go check this out. We're gonna be using pearl barley again, especially since we don't have pea porridge unlocked yet. So let's see, where are we right now? It's actually farther up this way. We're going to go to 4332, which is right here. And it, It's interesting because it looks like they're almost casting like that. I guess we'll just spread it out a little bit and see what we see. Um, the other thing that's a little suspect about this post is they didn't list the, uh, they didn't list the clip until someone asked them and then they finally posted and said something like just use 13 you'll be fine which just sounds so imprecise to me but we'll see um by the way the answer to the question all right, we'll put this one like this a little. This is more like what they were showing on there. Um, kind of casting in this direction. So, but we'll know if that far left one gets bites that you don't necessarily have to cast this far over. The question is, do I want to do a four or an eight? I think I'll do eight.
Well. <clears throat> it's pretty nice. And I would say it's still a little on the early side for bream fishing. That's a crucian. Love it. Uh, feels to me like something's wrong with the server. It feels to me like things are just chugging along a little bit for some reason. Uh, okay, so we're off to an interesting start here. Yeah, everything's just like taking a little bit extra time than it normally does. So, did I ever finish the my thought? The, the, the answer to that question of how do you level up to 100%, I think is um, you just got to be patient. I will say, if it was me, I would get creative. I would try switching to the most recent rig type that you've unlocked in the skill tree, at least on one of your rods even if it's maybe less efficient. Um, I would try to focus on fishing places with high bite rate. And then I would try to forget about it because the more you focus on it and are hoping for every bite that you're gonna get a point, the longer it will take, or at least that's how it will feel. Just try to get back to just having fun, focusing on the fishing and the fish you're catching, not on the uh, Find, you know, seeing this number pop up at the end. Yeah, if I wasn't in the middle of recording right now, I would just straight up like, um, disconnect or something, restart. You can just tell that the server is not quite responding immediately. I don't know if it's on my end or the server end, but it's a little, it's a little weird. I'm, you know, I'm used to it being so crisp and clean. Crucian or Roach? Roach. Yeah, I mean, for how early it is, I'd say this seems like this is going to end up being a pretty good little spot. Very nice. Two and a half kilos. That's one thing, you know, last time we were here at Old Berg fishing bream, we had such a good night. But if you remember, it was such a good night with mostly all of the bream were between one and two kilos. And we just weren't hitting any of the larger ones. So it felt like mostly it was small stuff. And already we've had a two and a half kilo. So that could point to maybe trophies are a little more likely in this spot. I don't know. We'll see. The bite rate's been great though. We need to um, make a bunch of garlic dough. We'll have that uh, that overnight slowdown and try to get through some garlic dough. Uh, 
That's a big crucian as well. 1.6. Very big. So the far right line has on average had the smallest fish. It does have the smallest hook. We're going to go ahead and change that now to a four. And it might be time to just get three large one hooks because if you're in a spot like this it feels like it can support the large one hooks then might as well use them Thirty-nine point five. Thirty-nine point six. One point eight nine nine. I love how active the Crucians are in this same spot. That just makes it really interesting. Would we leave off at 0.5 or 0.6? Oh, goodness. What a bad run that was. So we are at 39.6, so technically we could get it in two, much more likely we'll get it in a million, but thirty-nine point eight. So we did get point two that time. Oh, there it is. There she is. I'm going to finish making the garlic dough. Garlic dough is a super valuable bait at times. And um, if we occasionally get points for it, then I think it's totally worth it. All right. Need to watch the friction break on this one. Don't want to keep it too high. All right, it's a crucian again. So one thing I'm wondering, there's 31.5 is are we are we actually not fishing in the right spot from this one i'm going to go much further to the right like we do on the other two and see if we if that helps at all and i think i'm also let's see if that was an actual bite or just starting nibbles that's an actual bite. Ooh. I 
There we go. 31.7. All right, so what do we need for pea porridge? Peas and semolina. Peas and semolina. I think it is safe to assume that we'll need at least 30 and probably more than that. I think I'm just going to focus on leveling up with pea porridge and not worry about cottage cheese dough. We'll make cottage cheese dough at another time, potentially. But since that re requires going to Corey, and there's just not a strong argument to be made for us going to Corey with our current gear, unless a really good bream spot or something were to pop up. And even then it would be a little sad because Corey is so fun to, um, to finally get into trolling. And I don't, I just don't see anything recent about Bream over at Quarry. All right, let's go get it. We are so close to level 17, by the way. Let's go get about 30 peas. It's a hard, tough call. I think it's probably still faster to go back around this way. Hmm. Here's the question. Can we find the grocery store? Wait, where are we? The grocery store right here or right here? Oh my goodness. We just unlocked, we just beat the game. All right, I think these are the peas we use. Let's confirm that. Yep. All right, so we need one more peas. And then we need 20 and 20. It's not too bad. All right, we want to go down this way, right? pea porridge and I don't know about right now but there's definitely been um, people catching some big bream on pea porridge this week or this week past couple weeks we can check weekly and see if it's like reverted back to semolina but I mean back to pearl barley but I've definitely seen pea porridge on the uh, on the lit spots at times all right, there's 41%. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the weekly bream. Yeah, it's still pearl barley. Uh, tell you what, this first line is so slow. I actually, I actually am going to try it. All 
I'm going to see if Pea Forge works right now. I think it will. I'm not saying it'll be as good as Pearl Barley. I don't know, but I think it'll still work. So at this point, we really have access to most of the baits that we want for, for bream fishing. Every once in a while, you might see the... Um, cornmeal porridge. I think sometimes these days it's good for like crucian gibbles, but not really a big deal. Egg dough, same thing. Not really a big deal, but... But what we're still trying to do here is push till 45 and make a ton of egg dough, maybe a little bit of cornmeal porridge, but mostly egg dough. We might make a little bit of honey dough, but once we get down to here, we're just pushing to here, which is 60%. Uh, we're really not that far away at this point, but we need to keep making silver so that we don't spend all of our silver on doing this. But once we do that, I'm really excited to make a second trip back to the Norwegian Sea. Even if it's, I mean, I don't know how good it will be. I just am excited to do it because I think my hope is as we keep making silver and we do that Norwegian Sea trip, that we can come back from Norwegian Sea and actually have enough to get our first HSV caliber. And... Um, uh, an inexpensive rod that we can troll with and um, start thinking about working towards trolling Corey after that after that next Norwegian sea trip just kind of depends on how much money both we make before then versus spending and how much money we actually make on the trip but that's kind of the hope at this point. And, you know, after we finish the second Norwegian sea trip, if it's really good, at that point, we'll already have fillets unlocked. We can go ahead and do our third trip whenever. You know, it may be that between the second and third trip, that's how we get to a couple of HSVs which at least starts you starting to think about both trolling as well as dipping your toes into carp fishing. By the way, this bream spot's been way slower, right? I wonder if the one we used last time is even still active. So many, so much of the talk right now on Old Berg is about trophy grass carp and black carp. Which, spoilers, we're not ready for that. Oh, we got that for catching a fish with pea porridge. I was like, what are we getting an achievement for? We're going to sort of ride this spot to the end, but it definitely was not as good. It's fine. You know, 12 bream over a kilo is fine. 
but it's not what I would consider on fire by any stretch. There's so many bream spots right now on Old Berg that people are at least talking about in, on VK. There go the roosters. Hey, we had the perfect amount. All right, what did we get to? 42.5. So 30 of them gave us about 2%. This is just too slow. kidding me what is that like a roach or something it's so nibbly it's been nibbling for ages Yeah, just for fun, we're going to go try a different, technically a night spot, but we should still be able to see how much it's working in what's left of the morning, I think. So we're going to 25, 28, clip 7. And this should catch some rough. Again, it's, you know, going to be better overnight. But this early in the morning, hopefully we'll still see some. All right. So 25, 28 is just here. Oh, we need to clip that a little different. Clip seven, right? I'm going to do this one eight. So I'm going to go up to 20. Again, we're not mosquito anymore, so you never know. That's not a rough perch. You never know when uh, baits are going to respond a little different than you're anticipating. So, 
There's a rough. So they do appear to be here. We did catch one on worm. Which means if we catch this fish, I think we'll switch this back to worm. I don't even remember if there's a rough order right now. I just was kind of doing this more experimental, like just to see if we ever do see a rough order and we're fishing here and want to knock it out. Seems like this is a good option. This is probably another, uh... oh, it's a gibble. Okay. I was gonna say perch. Let's go 24 and worm. Seems solid bite rate if we were trying to hit uh, a bunch of good rough. This is probably a reasonable spot at the moment. It's going to slow down as we get later in the morning, though. My gut tells me 22 is the hook size we want in this spot. I don't think we have to go all the way to 24, but I think 20 might be a little bit big. If you want to mostly catch perch. I mean, if you want to mostly catch rough. We're starting to get into other species here as it gets later. Both, both worm and red worm will catch perch. So you're not going to, you can't dodge those with either bait. Our far left line here is the one that still has the bigger hook on there. It's got a 20 on there. And it's got red worm. And there's a fish appears to be here. wondering if in the morning we would start catching white bream a little bit.
Perch. Oh, white bream. Look at that. Love it. I don't want to use up the rest of our red worms, so I'm just catching perch, which is more and more what's going to start happening, I believe. Oh, a little tinch. It's an interesting little hole we're fishing out of. Still catch a rough every once in a while. We do have it on Paternoster. Arguably, you could... Uh, By the way, this is a common carp, I'm guessing. A small common carp. Oh no, it's a little bream. Huh. Wow. Okay. Look at that semolina at mosquito. Sweet dough. Hey, it's a blue. <laughs> Every fish available here. I can't remember, did we make a lot of sweet dough? Yeah, a decent amount. If that's a Chinese sleeper, I love it. I mean, really just a little bit of everything here. A little bit of everything. It's a big rough. Uh, let's see, where was that roach spot we were? We did so well at. Um, it was up here. It's actually not that far away. Let's see. What do we think we're gonna... catch roach on? Probably the pearl barley. <clears throat>
Ooh, level seven. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip through that. Was that a rough that we caught? No, it was a perch. That's what I thought. Uh, so there's level 17. All right. I'm not going to remember this exact spot, but that's okay. We'll just give it a quick go. I think it was... It actually might have been here. I actually think it was. All right, so if I had to guess, I'd say somewhere around 17 or something like that. And for some reason, I feel like it wasn't, we weren't casting like straight out exactly. We'll go 17, 18. That actually probably bounced back to 17. Oh, man. We'll try the mayfly larva. At 15. Let's see if there's any roach here. My thing with the with the pearl barley is I just wonder how many small bream we're going to catch in the middle of the day. Hopefully not, but I could see that happening. All right, that is a nice roach. And if that's working, is that a perch? Okay, I didn't really remember that perch liked mayfly larva. All right, let's go to the free bait then. Free as in it's already been crafted. The joys of fishing for small common roach where they don't set off your bite alarm. can't see the line at all well not I can see it a little bit but
Well, so far they've been impressively, uh, it's a big mixed bag, small and large. All right, there's 32.3. So this is a 12 hook. Let's actually go to a four. And let's get this a little farther out there. I think I'm actually going to put this one at one. I mean, if this totally kills the bite rate, then then we'll know. That should be fish on. You can see the pattern with these roach. They nibble, nibble, and then after they nibble, a lot of times they're actually on the line, but they don't pull it. And that's pretty much what we're dealing with. Wow. 42.6, not something you expect to get a point on digging at this point. Yeah, it's just the glare or something of the sun. Just about can't see the line at all. I will wrap this up soon, but I just wanted to sort of like show the progression of just trying different spots throughout the day. And then by the time it gets to night again, settling in at whichever bream spot you want to try for that night, you don't have to stop fishing during the day, obviously, because you know, when you're bream fishing, just, just change your setups a little bit, change to switch to a different hole and just keep fish, make, you know, keep catching fish, especially, based on what the cafe orders are. Going larger hooks may have slowed the bite rate down a little bit. Remember the spot that we actually caught the trophy roach out of was this one here at the end of this path which we could have tried that as well, but I just wanted to rotate back over here since we're fairly close. Which way are we walking back? I guess back down to the bridge. Thought that line was moving for a second. It's just so hard to see the line. All right, we'll give it another minute. And then we'll head out. I don't think it's just the hook size changes. I think it's also the time of day. If we were patient and stayed here long enough, once it got past this, like, you know, two in the afternoon time frame, it would start picking up again. This is one of those trips where we're either going to like be surprised and hit a couple cafe orders or be frustrated because we didn't have enough fish 
at a certain size to hit any cafe orders. We know we're not going to hit the roach one, right? Yeah, I think we needed like seven over 300 or something like that. This is the one rig that still has a smaller hook on it. I think it's a 10. kind of stuck on the bottom in a weird way. Might as well just throw our rods in for a minute. Let me go check the door. I'll be right back.
Yeah, sorry about that. And I was so close to uh, finishing up. Probably should have just done that. But um, all right. So this is with a four hook. What in the world? And we really didn't get anything else, huh? So it was just a small, small little bream. All right, well, let's go check the cafe. A rather pitiful little ending. All right, so the second roach order is gone. Now this white bream order would be easy to do. Right now the grass carp order would be easy to do if you wanted to catch grass carp. Um, this white bream order, a little harder. So really some difficult orders just happens to be up right now. Um, you know, we could do that bleak. I just don't know if I have the patience right now to work on the bleak. All right, still 146 silver. I guess anytime you fish for bream, things are just a little nice, a little better than you expect. That's that's some good silver though. For considering like the quality of the fishing we did, that's some really nice silver. Of course, we need to just keep making lots of um, pea porridge here. So we'll do that next time and, and also maybe try a different bream spot. Definitely um, probably a good idea to stay on the bream at least some while we're trying to push through and finish leveling up bait harvesting. But anyway, I'll call it there. Take a break here. As always, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.